Alright, you welcome to the marriage court. Drum rolls! <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the first episode of the marriage court and we are glad that you are here, our listeners, our viewers from all over the world. You know, the marriage court is a court that handles relationship issues, marital issues. So um, people send us issues, you know, uh, maybe their personal issue or an issue that they've come across, you know, relating to relationship, marriage, and then we get to bring it on, um, bring it to the court, the marriage court, and then we discuss, you know, and see how we can resolve the issue. So do feel free, you know, you can, you know, um, chime in in the comments section, do it to um, give your thoughts, give your wisdom. You know, we are trusting that it, by virtue of all the wisdoms <laughs> that will come in from this show, people will be, be able to glean, you know, some things that will be helpful in their relationship or in their marriage. So, the first episode of The Marriage Court, what <laughs> do we have? <laughs> Alright, so today we have a very beautiful case, yes. And um, so there's this lady. The, yeah. the case is beautiful. Yes. <laughs> very interesting. Somebody is dying. You're calling her case beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. We, we, we speak positive in all yeah, circumstances. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, there's this young lady. Yes. She's married. Yeah. Obviously. And um, her husband got his mom a car. Okay. And she feels that it's not right she feels that he doesn't love her that she could have been the one to get a car first yeah that there was really no need to give his aged mother a car in the village in the village so she wants a divorce and as trivial as this issue might sound it's really a problem in marriages let me take the story again. So she wants a divorce because the husband got his aged mom, aged mom, a car. And she feels that she should be the one to have the car. There is no point yeah. for him to get his mom a car. Or when she doesn't have a, a car. car. Exactly. Yes. So he can get the mom a car after she has gotten her own car. So that's that's the case we have. The beautiful case we have of today. All right, so um, let me start by saying that um, actually uh, what I think may actually be wrong is that there is a communication gap yeah. between the husband and the wife. So it's not really about getting his mother a car. It may be that there was no agreement, there was no communication. So um, we don't have the full story but these are just some of the assumptions that i can make so there was a communication gap because one thing that is important in marriage is communication so communication is key is key so if the husband had communicated with his wife and they reached a resolution okay this is what i want to do as a husband so let's say of course she's my wife so this is what i want to do i want to get my mom a car and then my wife says ah don't don't you think i should have a car first and then i'm able to tell her okay look i have a car so we can we can do it to manage with mine or even i'll give you my car you know for the period you know but this is the reason i want to get a car for my mom so so and so 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 and so you know she's aged i don't want her you know working and all of that um she has been there for me so i feel that she should have you know she should in quote enjoy before she leaves this um this this earth before she dies so this is my reason and then she can now bring in her own reasons and then we discuss and if at the end of the day it ends with okay let's not buy the car now let's do this so so and so with the money then we will now move as a team so that team that team spirit is very important in a marriage so one person should not just run off and go and do something and then come and report to the partner i'm just telling you I've already sent. <laughs> you can even be, be amazed that you know the wife maybe just had it after it had all been done. Mm. Maybe the husband planned the surprise, you know, to include that the wife. So he surprised the wife too. 
<laughs> so this is just one point you know the place of communication if the husband had communicated and then communication too can go either ways so if the husband communicated and the wife did not agree and all of that there should be a resolution yes. but it, it may be the wife conceding as yes. it were that's where you know in quote submission comes in, into play so it may be the wife conceding okay since this is what you 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 want this is what i actually want but if this is what you know you are you know um that you desire to do for your mom okay i stand with you and all of that and then they move as a team either to buy the car or not to buy the car so communication is important what do you think okay so um i want to come from this aspect of red flags okay so first things first as a as someone who is planning to get married you see that he talked about communication now i want to talk about communication before marriage you need you need to get into the head of your partner to know what they are thinking yeah why am i saying this mm. there are some ladies that don't like anything to do with in-laws mm. at all yeah 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 at yeah. all so maybe she is the type that hello your mother-in-law how 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 <laughs> ha, what why do you understand so i have seen cases where a, 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 a wife literally chases a mother in law. In fact, there's one case I, I know that is very pe- peculiar to me, my family, and all that. What happened? The mother in law traveled all the way to come and see her and the husband. She served the mother in law empty plates. I mean, eba plates, soup plates, water. The woman opened after, you understand, coming from a journey, opened the plate, there was nothing inside. So there are some of these people that just a little disclaimer it's not an immediate family no. is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not an immediate family it's just a, okay it's a far far yeah, yeah. that all right so you have to be careful to know who you are getting married to okay now these ladies are not bad same thing happens for the guys but i think it's predominant for yeah, us well, ladies yeah. so it's not like they are bad. Maybe they've had a misconception somewhere. They've heard something wrong. They've okay, experienced in law something. Demons. Yes. <laughs> or they've experienced an actual mm-hmm. demon in law. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Uh-huh. So it makes them to just boo you off this fence and like, no, I'm not going to have this kind of thing in my house. Yeah. So you have to communicate to the extent that you get into the head of your partner. Know what they are thinking. What Know what they think about in-laws. So I did the time I said, no. I don't want I protest my husband in the name of Jesus. Every in law, every mother in law, especially this mother in law issue, every mother in law, holy ghost, fire. Have you not heard ladies that say their mother in law should die before they get married? Yes. So, as a guy, you have to be very careful. Okay. So, that's that part. I'm not labeling any mother in law hunter bad. It's people behave according to their level of reasoning. So, if you find yourself with this kind of lady you're cutting with this kind of lady you have to be careful if to know if she wants to change if she wants to have a better perspective but if she wants to stick to her own perspective then you should run away because the you you'll be shocked that you will get to a point that your mother your mother cannot come to the house yes that's how powerful ladies are so maybe this lady is that kind of lady that like your mother in law why not mother, your mother, Bow, why am I an ice cube? You did not see me before you got the car. Do you understand? That's a perspective. The second perspective is that ladies inter different ladies interpret love differently. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we might have a lady might have this mindset that okay, you're married to me now, everything should be about me. Mm-hmm. Every other person should just lie low. Your sisters, your brothers, everything should be about me, my mom, my siblings, and I. So there are some kind of ladies that are like that. She might be that kind of lady that, hello, buy me first. Buy me the car. After buy me car, you can now buy your agent mother. That's another point to it. So we need to be also, that's why where communication com- yeah. comes in. Yeah. You need to know. Is she that kind of person? See, there's a whole lot to cut sheep than eating ice creams and shawarma. You need to discuss this thing because this little, little, you know, people think that 
what happens, uh, the biggest thing that can happen in marriage is cheating. It's not cheating, no. <laughs> it's not cheating. There are a, lo yeah, well, a whole lot of issues. families that no one is cheating, but issues inside, you won't believe it. So you need to know if she's that kind of person that says, hey, as you are married now, don't mm. send money to your parents. Don't send money to your siblings. It's only my siblings. You take care of my siblings, you send my siblings to school, and all that and all that. Yeah. So you have to be careful. Then, thirdly, another perspective is that some some husbands are just very funny set of people. Okay? They are very funny set of people. So, for me, personally, communication is important. Why do you want to buy your aged mother a car? She's old. <laughs> mm. Why does she need a car? Do you understand? That's another person so that she will not be checking. She can no, she we drive? don't really know how old the mother is. Uh -huh. So aged can mean me has sixties, fifties, late fifties. If she can drive, that's that's yeah. okay. Yeah. If she cannot drive, there's no point. Maybe you 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 hire someone to drive her. Hire someone. Yeah. to drive her that's extra expensive see um, see they have the money of course they have the money <laughs> they have the money but it's not fair that your wife is checking you, you don't know if yeah, your wife it's... is checking it may be that they have a car the wife doesn't just have her car yes i understand that part of having your own car mm. too that's you understand you don't have to ask anybody for please can i use your car please mm. i want to go out or you want to go out your husband is going out and all that but the mom who is where is she going to church market? Except the mom is a type that can drive. And if the mom can drive, she should have a car. So why replacing the car? Maybe the car is faulty. The car is faulty. <laughs> Repair the car. Or maybe actually she doesn't because the way the story is is that he bought a car. Yeah. Not that so she doesn't changed. Have yes she car. doesn't have a car so the mom does not have a car so obviously if the mom does not have a car at that old age it means that she can't drive not entirely true it's true somebody can learn how to drive without having a car maybe in her youth she, she learned, learned how, how to, to drive. drive so it's in old age so in in her 20s she learned how to drive mm -hmm. then it's in but god did not 70 years <laughs> things were not moving fine <laughs> <laughs> so she would not learn how to drive and uh, she would not start driving what she learned in no 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 no, 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 no. that's not real please uh, no, no, actually, actually, the problem is not the car. The problem is the mindset. circumstance oh, okay. around the buying of the car. Oh, okay. So it's not, there's no um, good or bad in buying the car. It's about what happened within the marriage. Mm -hmm. For example, if the husband is not caring to the wife, and then he goes ahead to buy a car for his mother. It's it's a it's, it's another strong emphasis to the wife that this man doesn't even value me. Do you understand? So it's about what is going on within the marriage. If there is love, with, in fact, if there is love, can I tell you that if there is love within that marriage, we she will not have this issue. She won't have. She won't complain. We yes. will not have this issue. So likely there is a there is a what is it called now a famine of love okay. within the within the, the marriage yeah. so the wife is not feeling loved oh, by the husband exactly so the this was the camel that broke Look, yes. sorry the what now the straw, straw that broke the, the camel's, camel's back yes right exactly. because i've been thinking is this really an issue for divorce yeah can this issue lead yes. to this divorce so it means that there, there was an there are, there are other there are other underlying issues yes so this was just what she presented yes yes, yeah. yes so just let us know what do you think is this an issue enough for divorce what do you think can you know be the resolution to this challenge what do you think the husband could have done or the wife could have done to make sure that you know they are not at this point where they are you know um considering divorce all right um yeah i, I just want right. to um bring up a solution to this okay. so you know this thing is beyond the car we have yeah. many couples who have issues with in-laws mm -hmm. in-laws visiting gifting in-laws things mm -hmm. and all that so first things first like i said earlier you have to be on the same page about in-laws yeah. as a cutting couple you have to be on the same page see the issue of in-laws has been hi god it's a big problem it's it's it can it can explode into something that you you 
you you have not imagined. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So you have to be on the same page. Discuss it. It's just like in laws visiting. Discuss. Mm. How long should they stay? And yeah. it, don't be biased. Don't say my mom will stay one month, then your, your mom, mom will stay, will two, stay weeks. two weeks. No. <laughs> no. So if your sister in law is coming, how long are they staying? What are they coming to do? Should they be staying with us? Do you understand? Then if anyone of our relatives, like my relative, is coming or your relative, we should know. Yeah. Not one day to the time. You're not telling me, hey, my mom is coming today. Mm. No, 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 it doesn't make sense. We should know that's where communication coming. We should know. Communicate that this and this and this. Oh, my mom is coming to stay and all that and all that. So that's that. Then if they are going, if you're giving them any money, it should be agreed. Agreed, yes. Don't, yes. don't, not and when your husband gives. Just cheap this thing. Sometimes is it's wisdom in order to foster love between you know the wife and her in-law in -law. and the husband and his in-law is usually wise i think i heard it somewhere it's usually wise that the husband for example will give to his mother-in-law or father-in-law mm -hmm. the wife would give to the husband so even if the money, money is, coming is coming from, from the husband but it is the wife that presents to her mother-in-law it's it has a way of desensitizing yeah you know you know so that okay okay she gives she gave me money he gave me money that's a cross cross cutting you know givings yeah so that it will help to foster the relationship between the spouse and her in-law or the husband and, and it will even help if there's any crazy in-law mm. some things will come up so that she will not say, ah, yes. it's my son's money now. Yes, yes, those kind of stuff, yes. <laughs> it's my daughter's it's money. my daughter's money. As far as it's from my account, it's coming. So you know that. If we don't know where the source is yeah. coming from. Do you understand? So I think that's basically like the dad's communication. communication. Communicate. Yeah. Communicate. In-laws, in-law issues shouldn't bring up divorce. Mm. Do you understand? It's it just that allowing a third party to third come party and break your marriage. To break your marriage. Because as far it's as marriage is concerned, in-laws are third parties. Yes. Your mother is a third your party. Mother, your mother is a third your party. Father, so, your brother, your sister is you a third leave party. To cleave. Forget it. Mm. So that part of scripture that says leave to cleave is real. You leave to cleave. So if my husband says A and my mom is saying B, please, I'm following my husband. Do you understand? So that's the mindset we should have. Don't have the mindset that every issue that happens in marriage, you run to, 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 to your mommy, run to your daddy. Do you understand? It, it should end. Marriage is a union of two mature people yeah. that have left. So if you don't see your parents as third parties, you will have issues. Yeah. You will have issues. So they are third parties. Yeah. Capital letter Parties. But so that, that before, doesn't take, up, take away because, their wisdom and counsel. Of counseling. course, you go yeah. for counsel, yes. Mm. So, But before you go out to them, make sure you're on the same plane. Yep. So even if you need counsel, make sure your partner knows. Yeah. So it's, it's not just like, for example, this case we are talking about. Mm. Maybe she goes to tell her mom. That see what my husband did, oh, and all that, and all that. Yeah, the say, Che! Exactly. Your husband is not even buying for me. Oh, Wahala, <laughs> Pro Max, the fire. And then it is Sky, okay? It is Sky. I'm telling you. So before you even go for counsel, tell your husband that, say, oh, I'm reporting you to my mother or reporting you to your father. Let him be aware. But what about, ah, this and that. Sorry, our time is fast spent. Let's leave the issue. I would like to say, what, what if, you know, your husband will now prevent you? Let's say he's abusive, abusive, and oh. then you want to seek counsel from his father or mother, and then you know you know if you tell him, he's going to even hit you the more. Oh. But that's a, um, a discussion for another day. Yeah. So our time is 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 fast spent. Let's hear you in the comment section. What do you think? What is the wisdom you can bring to this situation? All right. Until we come your way again next week Friday, we remain the. the Oh, oh, okay. And this is the marriage court. See you same time next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>